Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. Today's episode is the last episode in this particular series where we will learn about how to backup and how to restore our data which we have previously taken a dump of. It's important when you work in a large enterprise uh, with, where you have multiple people with operations of admin, it chances are that you may end up having some kind of collection deleted or some kind of uh, data you need to take backup of and such scenarios. Today, after today's episode, you will know how to take a backup and how to restore. This is part 20 of the MongoDB full tutorial series. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out um, so that you can learn and master MongoDB through this series. All right, so if you see right now on your screen, I've covered all these details from basic to advanced. And today is the last of the part of this particular series. But in the next uh, series, I'm starting main stack project. So I'm sure they will continue using MongoDB. All right, so I'm going to show you both um, using Visual Studio Code as well as with Compass app. So you would be able to do both operations using these two tools. All right, so the first step uh, towards backup and restore is to first take a backup, right? So what we'll do is we'll create a folder where you want to take or what where you want to save your data from MongoDB, right? So basically what happens is uh, whenever we run the mongo dump.exe command, you would be able to extract all of the collections from that particular database, right? So it's important that we mention which database we are trying to dump and what are what is the database that we are trying to take backup of. Once you have done it, just verify that the correct folder name is there, correct data has been exported and so on, right? Uh, the second step is to obviously restore, right? So which is when once you have taken a backup at any point of time, you want to restore it, right? So for some reasons, you want to take a snapshot and then maybe reinstall it because your data was corrupt or for whatever reason. So you can run the command mongo restore.exe. Now, you would be confused because in some uh, tutorials you will see that they are just writing mongo dump, mongo restore, and in some uh, versions we are writing mongo restore.exe. So the reason being that uh, after 4.4, .4, right, version 4, 44.4, what has happened is uh, they have separated out the mongo database tools, which means now mongo dump, restore are a separate project itself, right? And that's why we have to sometimes explicitly run uh, mongo dump.exe, mongo restore.exe by downloading mongo db tools, right? So I'll show you that now. Let's get into hands on and you will know all of that. So let me first show you with the com console in uh, Visual Studio Code. So what I've done, I've downloaded the database tools here. You can see mongo database tools that I've downloaded, right? So, like I told you, for the first thing is to use mongo dump.exe. So once you run this, it, it will show you that it has created the dump. See, writing crm.leads to dump this, right? So it is telling you that it has written it in this particular folder. But if you want a something separate folder, you can say mongo dump.exe, mongo dump.exe, and you can mention out, and you can mention the folder and say data slash uh, backup. Right? So give the path of where you want to download or have the dump uh, data set. So once you do that, it will say writing this to, now you see the new path. It is telling the new path is the one that we have given, right? So this is how you will run the command, but most likely you will never do it from command or anything. These are administrative access. You should know about it, but I'm not sure if you would really use that in your day-to-day -day life or your as a developer. But you should uh, definitely be knowing about it. So here you are, uh, mongo dump.exe to dump the data. Now, what I'll do is I will go ahead and I'll just let me refresh this for you, right? So we have refreshed, we have the CRM, we have leads, right? Now I'm going to drop this, drop the database, right? So here I'm going to type the name. So now it says it has successfully dropped. Now let me refresh. So it is gone, right? Okay, so now this is gone, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the dump folder where we took a um, data earlier and I'm going to say mongo mongo 
here oh sorry one level up and here i'll say mongo restore right so i'll say mongo restore.exe and run it so it would fetch so see restoring crm dot leads from dump slash crm slash leads right so you see how simple it is so now let me refresh and we should see our crm database back right so those are the two main important um, exe commands that i want you to know mongo dump dot exe which will be useful for dumping the data and mongo restore dot exe which will help us restore the data back now in both cases we can provide the path of where our folder or of where our files are right um, i hope this is clear i hope it's simple uh, straightforward nothing fancy uh, so that brings us to the end of this particular uh, series on mongodb i hope you have enjoyed it um, as much as i have enjoyed bringing it to you uh, from um, day after tomorrow i will start a new uh, series on mean stack which will where i will again cover mongodb but now we will use it with express and node js so that journey will be m e a n which is mongo express angular and node uh, make sure you check it out it's going to be a fun ride thank you so much for joining in mongo db full tutorial playlist series um, if you have any doubts during uh, any of these videos in this particular series please do let me know i will be happy to help you i thank you again for this wonderful series for joining me on this series and i look forward for your um, company in the other series that i start Thank you so much. See you in the next series.